Hi everybody, this is Jerry. Um, G. Carl asked a question about the process that I use to create the current bunch of charts uh, showing a planetary phase, so I thought I would do a quick video. Um, I've been recently, well actually for a, a quite a while now, I've been very interested in how the outer planets, um, which are defined by anything further from the Sun than Earth is, um, so Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto hiding in here somewhere. Um, uh, and what the phase um, study looks like in terms of developing a composite curve. So I just thought I would take you through the process here. Um, I have 30 minute data loaded of the Euro USD. Uh, there's 10,000 bars of data here. and. Um, um, at this point, I made sure that I set up under Options, uh, um, Composite, and clicked on Composite Report uh, in the latest version of uh, Timing Solution that's necessary to actually check that in order to develop a composite. So here's, let's see, um, uh, working with the uh, Jupiter again, I guess. Um, Let's try that. So I'm going to throw in Jupiter and Jupiter and click Phase here. And notice that the first harmonic um, gives us only three quarters of one cycle during this uh, period of 398 days, almost 400 days here. So I want to start at the other end, dividing that by 100 and starting with the 100th harmonic. Now that's much better. We have almost 74 cycles. The period is 4 days, 3.99. <clears throat> OK, um, I need to click this button here to get that on the screen. And let me make this a little thicker for you. Um, and right now, I don't have anything in the composite box, just the current composite. And that's kind of what I want to look at as I go through the list here. Um, let me set LBC back to Friday, um, the 24th. So the data in here is pretty blind, um, is very blind to the calculations. So this looks like an overall good curve, so I'm going to add this one to the composite box. So let's see here. I click composite box sum here and hit the plus button. And I added the hundredth harmonic into um, the Jupiter phase. Okay, so let me keep this off the screen so you can see how this unfolds. Um, 99th harmonic, uh, not as good. So I'm just going through these visually one by one. And let me pause the video here. Okay, so after going through that process, I ended up with 56 curves that I ended up adding to the composite box. Um, curves that are particularly like, I may add several times. So in this case, the 100th harmonic um, I did like very much, so I put three instances of it in here. Um, and it goes all the way down, uh, one by one. Uh, I guess uh, that's the first harmonic, uh, just as a, a stabilizer, fifth, fifth harmonic twice, I liked it, sixth, tenth, eleventh, thirteenth, and so on. Um, all this is at 100% smooth orb, normal oscillator, auto adjust RPO, and um, that's the list. So let me move this out of the way to show you then this is the way the composite appears on last week's data, uh, blind to the program because LBC is set here on the 24th on the Friday close. Um, and it, it tracks pretty well, you know. So then we go ahead and 
come over to the following week and I try to see the major trends. It looks pretty choppy here, but try to pick out the fact that after the market opens, we should see a fall into Monday morning at 5 a.m. Um, it looks like the major high for the week will occur Wednesday at 6 a.m. This is all Eastern time uh, to a new low on Wednesday at 2100. And Friday morning uh, would be uh, close out that long position or at least close the long and enter a short to the end of the market right here. Uh, at Friday close. So I add the dates like this. So I'll mark the beginning of the week. And here's that Wednesday high, etc. Okay, so that's the process. And um, it's an ongoing experiment to see how this works out. And uh, thanks for hanging in there. See you on the blog.